conversation surrounds growing concerns among other library branches around the county. 17's Michaela Armstrong, the newest member to our 17 News family, takes a look tonight at how a decision on McFarland's library might affect other library branches in Kern. Michaela? Jim, the fate of the McFarland's Community Library is becoming a conversation growing further than in the town itself. However, Kern Library branches are doing what they can to remain a part of the community they serve. Though books still fill the shelves and people still visit, libraries are at risk. The latest on the list, the McFarland Community Library, still awaiting a decision on its fate as community leaders want to use it for a police station. The library was only being used twice a day by the county. It was only open two times a week. The city would use that as a police department 24-7. Leaving other Kern County libraries concerned for what decision the Board of Supervisors might make and what this could do. If that were to happen, I think that that would be sending um, a fateful message. Kern County, one of the largest counties in the state, has one of the smallest library budgets, with 22 libraries and a budget of around $9 million. Kimmer says libraries are not valued like they should, which is why their budget often is cut first and they are the first to go when a board must make tough choices, like what is being weighed with McFarland. If policing is more important than learning and literacy and, and, and community gathering, um, I think that that would be a very sad day if that decision were to be made. A day Kimmer says she hopes is not near. Kern County libraries are open during the week and have resources that are available in person and online. We will have more information on the decision of the McFarland Library. The Kern County Board of Supervisors next meeting is October 11th. In studio, Michaela Armstrong, 17 News.